video for my little sister. T, hey girl, hey. Some people don't know any better. And you know, when I was growing up, there was this one guy who wanted to be everybody's friend. And what he would do is, he would try to buy you gifts. And pretty much buy his friends. Well, there was a point after his BS, his bullshit went so bad, nobody even wanted the little gifts he was giving. See, some people can't make friends like you and me. They, um, they have to try to persuade somebody to be their friend. He was like, you know, they'll have a nice car. Hey, I can give you a ride to wherever you're going. And then, you know, once you get in the car and, and you ride with them a few times, you get around some other people. Ah, I, you know, always wanting to ride from me. People are like that. I mean, when I was a little kid, there was this one kid, you know, across the way from me. I don't know if, if you heard this, me tell this story, but I would play with this kid and everything was fun and everything. But his father didn't want us to be friends for whatever reasons. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? And so the father went and told my grandmother, you know, could you keep your boy away from a boy? And my grandmother just told me that same day, you can be everybody's friend, but you can't make anybody be your friend. And um, the person that me and you talking about has that problem. That person has the problem with keeping friends. And, you know, you know, if I buy this person this and that, this person don't want to hang out with me. But like I was saying about my friend, um, people don't want to hang out with him after a while. Because it's like no matter what you can buy or what you can give me, it doesn't matter. It, you know, it, it's not worth the stress and humiliation that you're putting on me. So when that person want to try to buy your friendship again, you can either accept it or not. But when you get tired of that person, you know, do the right thing. You know, hey, you know, um, it's been fun, but I got to go. Nah, I just bought you something. Da, 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 da. Well, if you bought it for me to stay, then here, you can have it back. Next time you want me to hang out, buy me something different. Make, make, buy me something that's going to make me want to be your friend forever. And nobody can do that. You can't be bought, little sister. You know that. So don't let nobody make no down payments. So you like that person and you be that person's friend for the person and not the gifts. Because in the end, it's going to be the person not accepting anything that makes this person see what they've been doing wrong. It's going to be that person that's not taking any gifts to show this person, well, you know what? I don't want that. You got to hang out with me. I'll hang out with you, but I don't want that. So when, when the dust settles and there's only one person standing next to her, it'll be the person that can deal with her BS and not accept anything from her. Those other people, the ones that are bought, they will never hear the end of it. Shit, I bought the pants you're wearing. Girl, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have that sweater. Ugh, two snaps, baby. You know how they do. But don't let nobody get you down. Because today, somebody made me feel real good about everything I've ever done. Somebody said some things to me that make me want to continue in my work. One person, little sister, brought me out of the closet. Not that closet, America. Not that closet. One person brought me back. And I owe whatever happens from here on out to that one person. And we both know who she is, so we can forget about everybody else. So nobody else matters. I'm just going to continue to do what I have to do. Because if I wasn't placed here to do this, I wouldn't be doing it. If I wouldn't have been put in a position to do this, I wouldn't be doing it. And it took somebody to tell me that I was making a difference. That's, that's like three times in this whole YouTube venture, the whole realm of what the hell am I doing on YouTube. One person told me I was an African. One person told me, if you quit, you're just giving in to everybody else. And one person brought me back. 
because they said what I thought that America would catch all along. That person brought me back. So, I am going to take a couple days off, though, because I promised some people I was going to go dig this guy out of Costa Rica. And I know people keep on hearing the story about the Midnight Rider, but I got something big coming. Something big coming. We're going to find the Midnight Rider and bring him home. Thank you. Thank you.